These sorts of spiders are interesting. You don't see them all year round. They don't look like the sort of... They look like they'd pack a bit of a sting of some sort. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called, but... I wouldn't like to be stung by one. Oops. This red-headed spider. Whoops. It's going too fast for me. It's not fully grown. Hold still for a minute. Whoops. Where is it now? Where are you? Well, there you are. Has it got its arms up like it might be? Whoops. Front fangs up. Not doing much. It's just, has it got its fangs up? I'm not sure. Can I get any closer? Oops, it's on the move again. To think I used to live in this shed with all those crawling around I me and I didn't know they were poison like um, funny web spiders. It's on the move. Knock it back again. Look, it's coming over towards you. Oops. Oh, that's aggressive now. Where are you, darling? gets cross, doesn't it? It gets cross. It's only about, what, one third grown. It's not even half the f size of a big, large you one. You film it. a handheld shot now. How close can we get to this red-headed spider which is supposed to be poison like funnel webs? Bit jerky, I'm sorry, but I'm leaning down holding the camera. It looks slightly on the defence since we've brushed it away with a sheet of paper. It has been raining, so I suppose that's why they're on the move. How close can we get to you? There we are. Have a closer look at you. Whoops, it does look like a finer web, doesn't it, really, in its own way. It does have that funnel webby look about it, even though it's smaller. Doesn't it? It's not fully grown. It's not fully grown, is it? I've seen them about three times bigger than that. And it, I, I think they live in a burrow anyway. But the males travel around looking for the females. This gravel's a bit rough on my arms. 
There we are, smile for the camera. So the male has that red mark, so it's a male. Going under there. Whoops. Well, I can't keep up with you. I can't keep up with you, red-headed mouse spider. It's certainly got two front pincers, hasn't it? I'll let you go your own way, I think. Yeah, I've got you temporarily trapped in a bell jar just for a little minute or so, just to check you out a bit more. Let's have a look at you. How best to film you. Where are you? How best to film you. There we are. How best to get the best shots of you. Not your best angle, is it? It's not. I'll let you go in a minute. Well, you're full of energy anyway and vitality, aren't you? You're wonderful. You're full of vitality and vim. Inside the bell jar, the Makona coffee jar. Just having a little look at them. I'll let that let it go in a minute. I don't want to put it in the sunshine lest it get well heat stress. I'll just put it in the sun for a second. Hang on. A little bit of sunlight maybe. That's an Australian red-headed mouse spider. That's better with some light colour behind it. That's what they look like. Hello little one. It's on a rat race. Poor little thing. Red-headed mouse spider. And I've got a bird song for background. Where are you? I don't think we should bother it much more, should we? I'll let it go now. I'll let it go now. See you all. It's going to be free now to do its spider thing. See ya.
Here's another young, uh, a red-headed mouse spider, but it's younger, a bit smaller than the one that I showed a few days ago or a week or so ago. Still at the moment. I suppose spider films are boring if the spiders aren't moving. There's a view from the front. A view from the front of the spider. Can you see his fangs? Uh, 45 degree angle. Let's see if we can get a tiny bit of movement without distressing him. It's a him, isn't it? Oh, that is one. It's a red-headed mouse spider, a male. Only the males have that red head. Aren't you going to do anything for the YouTube viewers? Come on, move a little bit. Just a little. They want to see some movement. You're not going... Oh. Oh, no, you're getting aggressive now. That's an aggressive position, isn't it, with your front legs up, or your pincers. That's something. I don't mean to distress you. Mm. Where's my finger so you can see how big it is? Just so, just so you can see the scale of things, it's quite a small red-headed spider. There's my boot, and there's the red-headed mouse spider. Only small. I want to keep my hands away because I've seen funnel webs jump, but I'm not in any danger because it's so small, and they're not aggressive like, not as aggressive as uh, funnel web spiders are they? And it's only a small one, but that gives you a size. It gives you an impression of how big it is. Sometimes when one takes a spider film, one has no idea how big it, the spider is, unless you've got something to compare it with. It's on the move now. On the move, it's been raining, so it's on the move. This is all handheld footage, sorry. On the shed floor. Red-headed mouse spider doing its thing. One-handed photography. I think the shadow is spooking it. It doesn't like being trailed. Oops, it's coming towards me now. It's very cross, isn't it? I better watch what I'm doing. Oh. Watch out for Kitty. Someone's having their cat food. And oops, it's coming towards me. Oh. I wish I could get a pic better picture of its uh, fangs. 
Then my boots rubbing together. Wish I could get a better picture of its fangs. Show us your fangs. The things I do for my art. There's somebody scratching. Not much going on really. See ya. There go footsteps. There's a red-headed mouse spider. I accidentally wet it with the hose. I think it's cross actually. I would be too if someone just threw a bucket of water over me. That's an Australian red-headed mouse spider doing its thing, a male. I came across him a few moments ago on the path and then I lost him. A red-headed mouse spider. You can see that spiders and crabs are related, can't you? I mean, they look like each other, don't they? Isn't he beautiful in the morning light? And this type of spider apparently only goes on the march in the daytime. Other close relatives of it only go on the march at night time. But this one is a daytime spider. There you are. This is handheld, I'm sorry. If it's too jerky for you. Look at his little bottom. It is a bit like a funnel web. He is related to the funnel webs, apparently. He's obviously out looking for a lady friend. Perhaps he's after a black widow. Isn't he beautiful? An Australian red-headed mouse spider on the march. I'd like to get a good shot of his fangs, but that means getting down even lower and endangering my, my, myself even more. Where's my shoe? Not far away. Isn't he beautiful? He doesn't know where he's going to, does he? There's my hand, and oops, I don't want to get too close. Where are you? There you are. I don't want to get bitten like a fool, do I? 
I don't. Let him go into that pile of stones, yes. He's only a small one. There's my finger to give you an idea of how big he is. I can't find my finger. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I don't want to put it too close. I think we'll say goodbye to him now. See ya. I wouldn't want to be ya. Let him stay there for the day. He'll find a friend eventually. Well, there's a small male red-headed mouse spider. It's in a defensive posture because we just touched it a minute ago. I thought it might have been walked on. Right where we walk. I'll just show you my hand to show how small it is. That's my hand. So there it is. It's pretty small. holding its fangs up. Sorry it's not a very focused picture but I just ran to get my camera and it's sort of I feel it might be half dead or something. Let's see anyway. Just see if it don't want to antagonize it, it's just just want to see if it's still alive. Oh yes, there it is. So I was afraid it was squashed but it's not squashed. Clearly, it can defend itself. So, just as well. I'm not wearing thongs or anything. I'm wearing boots. I didn't see it there. I was just sitting on the chair and I thought, here in Shantytown, of course. It's not the best focus, is it? This is my old camera. Can you hear the, that cat purring? How do I make this stupid camera focus? This is my old camera. It's got a picture of a tulip and of a long distance picture of a tree as well. So, red-headed mouse spider. Oops, I should watch where I put my... <laughs> I should watch where I put my hand, shouldn't I? A relative of the funnel web, and that's a male. And it's in a rather defensive posture. That's my comb. I shouldn't bother it though, should I? I've seen them really tiny, about the size of a grain of rice, very small when they're young. I did see a female a few months ago, but it was about 10 o'clock at night and it was so late I couldn't have been bothered getting my camera. I'll try it in high definition. So here I am, shakily holding the camera, looking at a small red-headed mouse spider, and this is on a high definition camera. It's in a rather defensive posture, isn't it? And I am kneeling on all this rough gravel and it's hurting my legs, so that's another distraction. This is an Australian native spider. I think it's, I think it's illegal to export it overseas. I have had people ask if I'll send them overseas, but you're not allowed. I've, I've read of people getting busted in a paper forum uh smuggling these spiders overseas and it wouldn't be a good idea because if you had a male and a female and they bred you could have this spider this very poisonous spider all over the world oh i've got oh this rough gravel's really hurting my legs it's only small it's only a small spider where's my hand <laughs> there's my hand <laughs> It's only a small one though, it's not a big, I have seen them much bigger than that. Still, you'd want to be careful of them because you don't know how strong the neurotoxin is and how much is injected. You can see its little fans, fangs there. 
I'll try from another angle. There's a front view. I can't get too close. I do have a small tripod, a tiny tripod, but I can't be bothered with it. Perhaps, perhaps I could usher it into a Pyrex dish and get it to walk for us. The clouds have just gone in front of the sun, so it's dark now. The problem, the problem with filming like this is it's very easy to forget what you're doing with something poisonous and if you don't watch what you're doing you can get bitten. I don't want to upset this spider, I just want to, want to take some nice pictures for people who are interested in red-headed mouse spiders because there aren't that many uh, good pictures on the internet of red-headed mouse spiders. I don't seek to cause this little animal any stress. How close can I get? Now, I've got to keep moving. I don't want it to climb up over the edge of the jar and bite me, do I? It's only a small one. It's a male. How close still can we get? Looks better with a background, doesn't it? Oops. There I go again. Where are you? I'm in the shade. Whoops. I'm sure it would bite me if it had the opportunity to. Footage for those interested anyway. Oh, what am I doing? Where are you? I'm trying to do too many things at once. I'm trying to see my friend off and everything <laughs> all at once and I can't do everything at once. I really can't. I've got to watch what I'm doing. I'm going to let this spider go in a minute anyway. I should try and take an underside picture. Hang on. Now, where's the viewfinder? Where's that stupid viewfinder? Say I, trying not to get bitten. Where are you? Does that tell us anything? Probably not. Looks too blurry. Anyway. Where are you? Can I see what I'm filming? This time of a bit of sunshine. Come back down. Oh. I just want to show you its bright colours in the sunshine without overheating it. I'm so nervous because I don't want to get bitten.
Where are you? I'll let it go in a minute. I don't seek to torment this poor spider. I'd like to actually photograph a, a female one. I would. That's quite a good close up. I can't make it up the edge of the glass, so I'm quite safe, I've decided. It does look like a miniature funnel web. It's got a funnel webby look about it, hasn't it? Sorry the camera isn't super steady, but this is handheld. I'd like to get a good look at its little tail. Those little stinger, what are they? I'm not sure what they are. I suppose it stings with um, no bites. With its mouth. There we are. Isn't it lovely in its own way? Glorious. I'm going to let it free in a sec. This running shot, running on this treadmill spot, would be nice with music added, wouldn't it? High definition. Red-headed mouse spider running on the spot. I could make it into an animated GIF, couldn't I? I'd better not put my fingers in too close, had I? Isn't it lovely? I suppose we should let it go. Let's let it go now. Come on, there you go. There you go. Where are you? I've lost you already. There you go. Go about your business now to freedom. It has been raining. They do tend to move after the rain, apparently. There it goes. It's going to do its own thing. It's going to find a mate. And it's going to have babies. They'll live in burrows together, won't they? The female is in a burrow and he's out looking for her. I hope you enjoyed all this. Sorry that I wasn't really prepared to take this video. There it goes. See you then. Bye.